Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you this scamp, and this, this is considered a 19 foot scamp. We would call it a fifth wheel, but it is sold as a 19 foot. And Travis is the owner. And Hi Travis. So he's going to tell us all about this because he's done some remodeling. So um, first of all, what year is it? It's a 1987. Do you know the weight of it? Um, I think it's about 3,500, but I'm not positive. Which is very lightweight for a fifth wheel. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad at all. So tell us what you have done in here. Well, when we bought it, we bought it from Pennsylvania. It was up on a mountaintop, and uh, we had to redo a lot of the systems because of water damage and uh, incorrect winter storage. So we replaced all the P-traps, all the hardware for the toilets. Um, it's got a dielectric heater um, that runs on propane and is very quiet. It's got the original uh, three-way fridge, little microwave. Uh, we've made the big bed conversion, which pushes the the seating out a little bit. We changed the storage and put nice piano hinges on there so it's accessible uh, very easily to get things in and out. And you don't have to put that down because your bed is at the other end. Right. We have the nice okay. loft at the end. Now, when we got it, the axle was tired and it had 13 inch tires. And with the new modern trucks, the bed rails are a lot higher. So we cut the old axle out. We put a new axle in from Scamp with a three inch lift and also we were able to run 15 inch tires, which got it even when you're, you're towing. Mm -hmm. um, but when you upgrade to 15 inch tires, you find that A, you need to put on steps because now your ground clearance is a lot higher. And B, where are you gonna put the 15 inch tire, you know, where the 13 inch tire used to be? There's not enough um, structure to hang the 15 inch tire on the back of the scamp. So we custom made a, a spare tire carrier in the back so we could carry the 15 inch tire. So you're saying this, Big fifth wheel camper came with 13 inch tires. Yes, 13 inch tires. Wow. Uh, and okay. they, they tow them from the factory with a Ford Ranger when they deliver them. But yeah, that's what trucks, they have up here for the demo one. Mm -hmm. Modern trucks, the bed rails are a lot higher than they used to be. So yeah. it, it works out better if you put a lift on it and run 15 inch tires. Now tell me, you were telling me something about the microwave shelf. Um, when we're not using the microwave, if we want more space, we can take this shelf out and this actually flips up and stores underneath the cabinetry. Okay, so then you have more counter space. And, and then the next year, we, we threw a lot of white paint in here. Normally this is a wood finish, um, but there was some water damage. So we like the, the look of the white paint and how roomy it makes it feel. And then the next year we redid the bathroom. So I salvaged oh. a normal size shower door and I cut it down to size. Then you've got a, a golf ball here. Golf for ball that. handle. And this is our wet bath. Uh, First, you take the original elephant skin and you clean it with ammonia. So this is what they call elephant mm -hmm. skin. It's like a vinyl. Yes. And then there's a special paint you can put on it. And that's the original finish and leafy print from when the camper was made. That's our little time capsule feature. So okay. We, we wanted to leave that. And you replace so that a lot of the for hoses. a wet bath, it's roomy. Mm -hmm. And then up here is the loft. It's and nice and cozy. And he made the steps. We tinted the windows, and uh, you can crawl on up there if you want to. Lots of room. How high do you think it is from the bed to the ceiling? I'd say it's about three, three and a half feet. And we yeah. have a 10-inch mattress that we actually, it's a, it's a foam mattress that we transferred from our bed at home into the camper uh, when we upgraded. So now it feels like a home away from home because we're used to sleeping on that density of mattress. And there's a cabinet up there that is over top of the bathroom, so that gives you extra storage. And we have our charging ports for the phones in the cabinet and such. Yeah, so let me go. And this does have the original folding screen door. The that is really nice. operate a little bit differently. Now tell me the flooring. What is um, the that's flooring? a lower vinyl, vinyl plank flooring, and I think it's called African wood. It's a, it's a bit bold, but uh, I kind of like it. With all the white, though, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My wife did a great job on the cushions. We change out the cushions and the curtains every few years just to keep things fresh. And you have all your storage cabinets here. So this is the original wood of what everything was? Yes, this is, this is kind of the structure for the, the AC unit. And the original wood color is, is similar to that. But like I said, there was a little bit of water damage to it. So um, we thought it looked much better white. So what is your favorite thing about the camper? The fact that you can do a lot with it, and if we uh, ever get bored, we can change it up. And mm -hmm. honestly, we wanted to get into the activity at a lower price. 
we paid forty four hundred dollars for this camper originally. Oh wow! So and how long uh, have you had it? About five, going on six years. Yeah, that was a great deal. And do you have any least favorite like things you really don't like? The seam on the wall in the bathroom where the elephant skin is, there's a little shelf, and it's really hard to get that to stay stuck. Okay. That's, yeah. uh, that's the one thing I that bugs me a little Which bit. Which is a really minor thing, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's the little things that will bug us. All right. Well, thank you, Travis. No and everybody, hang out. I'm going to put some still shots here and give it a thumbs Thanks up. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Bye.